it's great to be here once again with you and with EWTN bringing the National March for Life Canada right here in Ottawa. Right behind us is Parliament Hill. This is the place where laws are made, or should I say, where laws are struck down. So this is the 18th March, and uh, they've been wonderful, wonderful events as more and more young people uh, come to the understanding of what abortion is all about. I have begged for and received forgiveness from God for deliberately taking the innocent life of my unborn child. Increasingly, I'm aware that life will win because life comes from God, the author and finisher. I willingly embrace every opportunity to be silent no more. This is the largest group we've ever had at the March for Life. Let's Let's go. Go. Well, six uh, years ago, we had a choice. We had a choice whether to have this child or not. But I, I'm really glad that we have chosen, me and my wife have chosen to have life. And here she is right now. What am I gonna give? Everyone has their inspiration for being here today. One you can see is in my arms. Her name's Isabel. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the subject of my other book, famously said, silence in the face of evil is itself evil. By the grace of God, speak the truth of this madness, of this horror, of this murder. Speak that truth in love. Thou shalt not kill. That's simple, it is profound. It is something we need to reflect upon and we need to live and we need to affirm. I greet you all. I bring you greetings from my home province of Newfoundland and Labrador. <laughs> in our own constitution of the Anglican Network of Canada, we have written in respect for human life as one of our main clauses. But Canadians are rising up and I'm very uh, excited today. Je suis ici avec George Bouchami, Campaign Quebec V, who has collected a, a, a petition with over 2,000 names of it from Quebecers who are opposed to euthanasia. I am very happy to receive that from him. I want you to let all the MPs know, not just the ones that are here today, that this is not a good idea and that you don't support it. Let them know. Send a strongly worded email or letter to your member of parliament about the Supreme Court decision. There was a lady a little while ago that was proclaiming my body, my right, and she's right. But we're just here to, to consider that other body, that other child that doesn't have an ability to speak. We're here to ask you to consider that. Always remember that history is on the side of justice and democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, history is on your side. I stand before you today as a Canadian woman who doesn't need to take my shirt off to get my point across. We stand here today as young pro-life Canadians, not only as a witness, but as a threat to all those MPs sitting inside this very building behind us who refuse to give human rights to all human beings. When we wonder how many children we should have, how do we decide? Let life win. When we, these politicians decide what to vote on, what do they decide? Let life win. And when we go to vote for them, we decide, let life win. God bless you. Join me in saying our slogan for today, let life win. Wind.